I made this video in the past where I covered mirror symmetry in Inkscape, and what I was using it for was to demonstrate how you could move these nodes in opposite directions of each other. Now, I scrolled down here and I saw that Planet Frog 2 actually left this great comment about using these angled bracket keys to do the same thing in a much shorter way. So I tested this out and it worked pretty well and I just want to demonstrate it here because I think it's a better way to accomplish this and it's much more ergonomic. So I'm going to go back over to Inkscape here and I'm going to use this square tool. I'm just going to draw a quick rectangle here and let's make it this color and let's remove the stroke. And then first we have to convert this from this square object to a path, so object to path, and that allows us to use our edit node tool to actually edit these nodes individually. So you're probably familiar with taking one of these nodes and using your arrow key so you can move up or down or left or right, or you could actually group these together so I could select multiple of these and move them together in certain directions, but maybe you didn't know that you could use your opening bracket key, or in this case it's a comma because I'm not using any modifier keys, and I can move these nodes together and they move at the same rate together. I could also use the closing bracket key, and that's the period key, and it moves them apart. Now, if you're doing this on your computer, your nodes might be moving at slightly different speeds than mine. That's because I've actually come up here to my edit preferences, and I've changed the speed that these keys are moving. So under behavior and under steps, you can change where the arrow keys move by. So I'm doing 12 pixels at a time, and you can change where the scale is. I'm also changing that to 12 pixels at a time. So once those are set like that, you can also modify how these move by using some modifier keys. So if I'm pressing the left arrow key, it moves at this rate, but if I hold down shift, it moves much faster. So again, holding shift, letting shift go, holding shift, letting it go. So that speeds it up. I can also slow it down. So if I'm going left, I can press alt and that slows down the speed, let off alt, it goes a little faster, hit alt again, it slows it down. So you get the idea. Same thing works with up and down. So alt slows it down, shift speeds it up and you can come up at a faster rate. Now. This will work in general with the inward and outward movement as well. So these are both selected. And if I'm pressing the inward button, if I press Alt, it will slow it down. Or if I'm going out, this is the normal speed, press Alt, it slows it down a little bit. The one thing that doesn't work though is the shift modifier. So for instance, if I'm coming in and I press shift, it doesn't actually change the speed too much. So if I'm going out, press shift, let go, press shift, let go. I'm not really seeing any difference in the speed. Let me come back in again, shift, so yeah, so that modifier doesn't really work, but hopefully this gets you a shortcut to illustrating with your nodes and making these things symmetrical. This is a really ergonomic shortcut that I think will help me out a lot. So thanks for the great comment and stay tuned to this channel for more content like this in the future. All right, take care.